dude, I'm so mad! Ah! That was a lie. I'm a moron. Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another hard enduro training video. Um, today we are at the Topless and Death Row Rock Crawling Trails. Uh, they are, uh, well, Death Row is ridiculously hard. It's the hardest one I've ever been up. I'm not doing that today uh, because to me, that's a not an alone kind of thing. I could go poke up there and turn around, but there's no way I'm good enough to get my bike up there by myself. So uh, I'm not going to be doing that. But topless, uh, rated eight. This is obviously rating based on uh, Jeep four wheel things. Uh, is actually pretty easy. Um, it's got some moves and things like that. Um, but it's really pretty straightforward. I know I can ride it, no problem. I know I can ride every obstacle. Um, I don't know if I can ride them all in a row. Uh, so today, today's goal is to get a really good workout, physical workout. Uh, I'm just gonna go up and down and up and down on topless this morning. It is 7.15 on Saturday morning. I got work to be at here in just a couple hours. Uh, so I'm out here. Yes, I'm lucky enough to live that close to <laughs> live and work that close to these trails. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I just figured I'd bring you guys along with me as we just go bang up and down topless. Guys, I just have to have, say a massive thank you to all of you who have become members of the channel. Uh, that is really helping this whole dream of uh, making YouTube a business and getting to ride more and getting to teach people more and getting to have more fun uh, in life. So thank you guys. If you want to financially support the channel, uh, check out the membership deal. Uh, basically, the benefits are that you get to see some videos early. There are a few members only videos. There will be more of those coming. Uh, and then we are definitely going to do at least one members only ride. And I need to get members only jackets for everybody. I know. Um, <laughs> if you're not old, you don't get that joke. But um, definitely going to do a members only ride every year where we all meet up and go and have fun and all that good stuff. So anyway, enough of that. Let's go ride dirt bikes. All right, guys. Laps on topless, baby. As you guys can see, there's uh, frost slash snow on the ground. It's cold. I don't know what I'm doing out here this early on a cold morning, but well, I know what I'm doing. I'm putting in the work, but it's brutally hard. When it's cold, it's already a hard sport. <laughs> it's harder when it's cold, but that's all right. Sun's coming up. It's gonna warm up. Be really nice today. You guys have watched much of the channel recently. You see me go up and down this thing a few times. Uh, I'm trying to keep it interesting with the editing. Make sure you comment below. myself or any of that crap so just gotta like I said be smooth we're obviously on the beta That's what I built this thing for so I'll call this the beginning of topless that's death row as you can see it's uh it's plenty hard right off the start um, and then, uh, gets super hard as it goes up. I mean, I'm talking crazy hard, like, yeah, hardest thing I've ever ridden. I've gotten up it with my buddy Foxy Bibbs before, uh, <clears throat> we made it, a lot of pulling, helping, but we did it, it was cool. Coming out to do some more training tomorrow, so stay tuned on the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. Um, we'll try to <clears throat> make sure we get that video out before the hard enduro. We we'll, might go up that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, man. It is cold. All right. <laughs> This thing's got to stay 
best to stay left. Come around here. Ahead. Do that! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! That went well. Someone commented on a video that uh, they don't see a lot of commitment, and I agree. Like, I am. I don't do the load the flywheel thing and just wrap up things enough. I think you were dead on with that comment, whoever that was. So we'll work on that. Uh, I don't I know that I'm going to do too much of that today. Again, I don't need to break anything on myself or the bike um, right before the race. But I agree. I think that is one uh, skill that I lack. I mean, I do it sometimes, but it's definitely not something that I have dialed in. Uh, the guy's wondering, running uh, a pretty worn out Talon. Uh, front and rear. Front. I mean, the front's been on there for a long time, so I guess it's worn. It doesn't look that worn, but the sharp edges are way gone. Uh, the back is pretty hammered, but it, those talons really seem to work good when it's dry. Especially our desert rock here. Yeah, a lot of things work here. This isn't like a place where it's hard to find traction, but... It works really good here, so... Uh, I'm gonna be running an X-Grip escalator um, for the race and a Talon front. I got a pretty sweet half secret, half not secret setup for the rear wheel, so stay tuned. Stop and warm my hands up again. It is cold. I didn't wear my cold weather gloves. Ah! Oh, I didn't get it on it early enough. That's gonna be hard from a dead stop. <laughs> Ah, man, I usually get this one. I mean, I think there's something to be said for how cold it is. <laughs> I am, like, t not, I don't know, yeah, I'm timid, man. I'm, body's cold, suspension's cold. Let's back up and do that again, because that was silly. I have a hole in front of it, but... There we go. And this stuff is way harder when it's cold. <laughs> like, just the like, commitment level, muscles are cold. Like, it's tough. <laughs> Stop, man, my hands are freezing. <sighs> yeah, man, I don't know. Should have worn my other gloves for sure. It is, it is feeling cold down in here. Man, I don't know. Guys, comment below what you think about that. If it's, is, it, is it all in my head or is it actually, well, I guess whether it's in my head or if it's real, it's real because I'm thinking about it. But uh, I think it's like, this is way harder when it's cold. Say the bike is working really good though. Like the suspension, suspension feels cold though. Like it doesn't feel like it's moving quite like it should.
that little move up here. in my opinion. That was cool. That was cool. Took a little bit different line than the easy one. Worked out pretty good. for a break <laughs> yeah hopefully by the time I get up to the top get back down it'll warm up and we can make a nice good run solid run at the whole thing hardest lines either but definitely trying to mix it up it's right there I could have gone around that rock Sun. All right, guys. So we got up it. That was not actually pretty. I've I've ridden that so much better uh, in the past. I really think that the cold is affecting me. <laughs> uh, I I mean, I hate to sound like a weenie, but man, my hands are cold. My body's cold. And just like riding super tight and like. Anyway, uh, I mean, no excuses except for that. You know, just not going to ride that great like that. So no big deal. Um, so we're going to go back down it and then turn around. Hopefully the sun will be up enough and it will have warmed up that that the cold won't be such a problem. Also, I got my hands back. So usually once I get them cold once and then warm again, they're usually uh, good. So, uh, yeah, let's go back down, turn around, come back up and see if we can do it smooth.
ugly. Oh, wrong choice here. <laughs> we got some moisture in it still. So. All right. Alright guys, got back down. We're back at the, there's death row. We're back at the start. This time, I'm gonna do better. <laughs> also, I'm warmer, my hands feel good. It's warmer out. Um, and I'm just gonna try to make a concerted effort to just go buttery smooth all the way to the top. All right, so I feel most of this should be done in like second gear. I'm running that 1250 gearing right now, so pretty freaking low. Come out. That's right. Not even a. That's really not a hard obstacle. <laughs>
other poor line choice. Yeah. Yeah, get into it. Let's see if we can do this better. Oh, I wanted to jump that. Ah. Ah. That wasn't good. That's all right. Well, some of that went better, some of it didn't. <laughs> ah, that's all right. I don't have time to do it one more time this morning. That's all right. Whew. Can we go back down it? Try to be smooth on the way down. Go back to go to work. And then tomorrow we're coming back out. Concerted effort again. So we're learning, people. We're learning. Tell, tell myself a little bit. Alright guys, so <laughs> if you watched the uh, other training video where I was clicking on stuff and clicking on stuff, I said that the high speed was set at one and a half because I checked it. Or I th that's what the spec said. I, I don't know if I said I checked. Anyway, that was a lie. So the low speed uh, was correct, like what I said and all that, because I had checked it and checked it you and know, whatever. Um, as I was riding today, I'm not on camera, I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try backing the compression out, because I had the compression in more than the rebound, I'm gonna just back it out, let's just try it and some of the stuff, and I went to try the, uh, low speed to back it out a half a turn, <laughs> and it was all the way out already. <laughs> uh, I swear, guys, 
honestly, sometimes fiddling with your suspension is so counterproductive because you fiddle and fiddle and fiddle and fiddle and fiddle. And uh, I've been riding around with uh, absolutely zero high-speed compression damping um, on the back. <sighs> I'm a moron. So what you just saw, so I figured that out. I turned it into one and a half. And then I went ahead and backed the low speed out like I thought I was, you know, wanted to try. Felt pretty good. But then I wanted to put the, the low speed back, forks and shock, to where I had it because I liked it, before, you know, anyway. And you just saw the results. So much better. So much better. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. So the lesson for you guys to take away is play with your suspension for sure. Click, 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 because you can't hurt anything. Um, but... Always check before you're going to go out on a tuning run, check your settings, all of the settings, and make sure they are where they are. Rookie, rookie mistake. So, anyway, now I got to get out of here and get back to the truck. when you get the back sorted out ah, I swear I know better and I still did it whoa that log was slippery now I feel like I can just I'm just able to go through these chundery things so much easier oh my gosh Dude. Another little uh, tattletale of myself. This is not the first time I have done something like this. I am terrible about this. I'm always fiddling, trying to find the right setting. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't do it when I'm with people normally. Cause I don't like being that guy. He's always touching their suspension, but I uh, when I'm by myself, I play on it way too much. That's gonna be better on the single track on the way out too. <laughs> Go down through the chundery again. Look at that. So much straighter. Ugh, there we go. I wish I would made that last full run with this setting. Let's try going through here. Rocky section. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so mad. Ah! So much better. guys another training day <laughs> uh, I guess I call it, these are kind of like just vlogs uh, what do you guys think about this style of video or did I just go ride I'm you know training talking about what I'm doing but just you're going for a ride with me let me know what you think in the comments below um, and uh, huge guy say a huge shout out to Rocky Mountain ATV MC for all the support massive shout out to Onyx off-road also all my sponsors guys they're in the list below um, who've helped me get parts and taking care of this motorcycle. Um, I would not be able to do this without them. So please support them. Um, and if I have an affiliate link, use it. If I don't, just let them know you heard about them from me. That would be awesome. Anyway, I got to get to work. Thanks for joining me. I love you. See you on the next one.